So good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lorenzo Fioramonti. I'm a professor at the University of Pretoria, and I have the honor to be the master of ceremony today for the inauguration of this very important project, which is very close to my heart, having been involved with the Future Africa Initiative since the very beginning. I'd like to invite uh, to the podium the Vice uh, Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria, Professor Cheryl Delare. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a short ceremony this afternoon, and it follows a tradition uh, practiced in many cultures where we have a ceremony to mark the beginning of the construction of a building or a new project. Of course, we are marking the beginning of what is truly a groundbreaking project from a number of different perspectives. It's one that I believe is distinctive, it's unique, and it's pioneering and particularly pioneering in our aim to be responsive to a changing African context, while at the same time recognizing that we must position African higher education at the cutting edge of science at a global level. Now today we, we're turning the sod, and it's really the, our focus is perhaps on the construction or the physical entity that we're creating. But the physical entity is really a means to, do, to realize the bigger vision. But let me say one or two things about the physical space. There have been many innovations across the African continent to shift our thinking about university education. But one of the limitations of these projects in the past, have they, have, they have been limited to small scale implementation. What we're experimenting with in this new project is a much larger scale uh, um, endeavor. We're creating a space to bring about 300 young, talented people together in a space where they will live and work together to follow a unique pathway, undertaking doctoral research, but at the same time following a leadership journey, a journey that hopefully will prepare them to do better than we have as a generation. And we see Future Africa as being an anchor project for South Africa's contribution to the Future Earth Initiative. And without these partnerships, without ongoing dialogue with you as partners, we will not succeed. So this afternoon, we're grateful for your support, but we look forward to further discussion with you as we take this project forward. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And so if you ask me, uh, Professor Slippers, how does Future Africa fit into the university's Africa strategy? I say Future Africa is an example of the university's Africa strategy because the university's Africa strategy is not a document. It is real. It is what we are about to start here. And so it is a flagship program. It uh, captures all the ideas that we have about the university's Africa strategy. Ideas of interdisciplinarity, ideas of networking, ideas of innovation and problem solving, creating space first in our minds but also a physical space for African researchers to work together and address the problems that we face as a continent. So you are witnessing a very crucial aspect of the University's Africa strategy even before we unveil the full Africa strategy. Thank you very much for coming to this occasion. The, the Rector reflected on this worldwide realization that we need to move closer to interdis an interdisciplinary approach to our science and a transdisciplinary approach to our science. And in reflecting with leaders of, of science in other parts of the world it's very clear that everybody, including those that are the most resourced and have the greatest capacities around them, are battling with this challenge. They really, uh, it's, a, it's a burden to move to these fundamentally new ways of doing science. That is a challenge also for African science. So Future Africa is creating the space or the container, if you will, for those people to grow to empower those people with the kinds of skills they're going to need to build that interdisciplinary world, to grow the science system for us on the continent ten times from where it is now. And as we were reflecting um, with each other, with these science leaders from across the continent about this challenge, you can in one way want to work, walk away from it. It's so large. But they don't want to. 
They're, in, they, they're really excited about this challenge that lies ahead. So this project is, is about them. I, I will end with, um, with a reflection from one of these Africa Science Leadership Program uh, fellows in the program, Connie Nishimo Rewe from Uganda. So after, after the program, we were asking her, her her experience of it, and she was, you know, people in, in the program talk about empowerment and about um, uh, really seeing their vision uh, and, and how they can do it for the first time, as she does. She says, my vision has become much more focused and something I can really put my hands on now. It's really made, made the future seem more concrete in terms of what I can do, where I can do it, and with whom I can do it. So together with Connie and the other young research leaders on this continent, we, we really hope that you will come and also experience within this space and partner with us to build the connections on the continent uh, as we align, align our visions and our actions for a better future Africa. So thank you very much for joining us for that.